India has landed on the South Pole of the Moon. And this is something that no country, I repeat, no country has been able to do. Indians are over the moon. To call this day historic will be underplaying it. This day is inspiring. This day, you see, is the result of years of hard work. It is the result of the prayers of 1.4 billion people. And of course, unmatched technological prowess. And it's all courtesy India's scientists at ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, that India has been able to do what no country has till date. The big question is, what next? We will discuss that and a lot more tonight over the next few minutes. But first, let's just recap for you this very special day. It began with prayers, with thousands gathering at temples on the banks of the holy river Ganga to pray for the safe landing of Chandrayaan 3. The newspapers this morning were all counting down to the historical landing. There was a taste of impending success in the air. And the stock market was reacting accordingly. Shares of aerospace companies and companies that supplied parts to Chandrayaan 3 were in the green. Centrum Electronics that delivered over 200 mission critical modules to the Chandrayaan 3 mission zoomed 14.91%. LNT provided components for the launch vehicle and its shares were up 1.47%. And many companies associated with the Chandrayaan 3 mission saw a 52-week high at the stock market. And as evening approached, students started gathering at planetariums around India. Screens were set up at schools, colleges, offices, housing societies. People gathered eagerly waiting to Aaj see India make history. At the ISRO control room in Bengaluru, there were mixed emotions. There was excitement, there was tension, and of course, fear. You see, in September 2019, India's second moon mission, Chandrayaan-2, had lost control. It was attempting to land on the moon, and it was just a little over seven kilometers from the lunar surface, so close. Less than four years later, India was attempting another landing. With a stronger lander, increased landing range, more fuel, and more solar panels. And as the final countdown began, you could hear heartbeats becoming faster. Tens of thousands of miles away in the lunar atmosphere, Chandrayaan's Vikram lander was executing a complex maneuver. It slowed down from over 3,700 miles an hour to almost zero. The lander was turning from a horizontal to a vertical position. And here in the newsroom, we all gathered around TV sets, our eyes glued to the screen, looking at the decreasing altitude of the lander. Also watching the descent via video link from all the way from South Africa was India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The sensors that are updating at this point are providing confirmation of the safety of the landing site. As expected, the retargeting is going on. See how power lander module. People are applauding. Ji ha, aap apne screen pe dekh sakte hain ki hum power lander module. We have achieved soft landing on the moon. Yes. India is on the moon. Celebrations, tears of joy and a waving flag. That is how India made history and made its mark on the moon. Only three other countries have landed on the moon till date, by the way. The US, the Soviet Union and China. But in all of these cases, the mission landed near the moon's equator. Landing there is safer and a whole lot easier, you know, as compared to landing on the south pole of the moon. At the South Pole, you have no sunlight. The temperature goes be below minus 230 degrees Celsius. And to make things more difficult, 
The South Pole also has large craters. It's not easy to land there, to say the least. Just this weekend, in fact, Russia tried landing its Luna 25 mission on the lunar South Pole. It spun out of control and crashed on the moon. Chandrayaan-3 landed softly, demonstrating to the entire world the capability of India's space technology. मेरे प्यारे परिवारजनों जब हम अपनी आंखों के सामने ऐसा इतिहास बनते हुए देखते हैं तो जीवन धन्य हो जाता है ये पल अविस्मरणीय है ये क्षण अभूतपूर्व है ये क्षण विकसित भारत के संखनाद का है ये क्षण नए भारत के जयगोष का है इट इज अ मोमेंट ऑफ नेशनल प्राइड अ मोमेंट दैट विल बी रिमेंबर्ड बाय ईच एंड एवरी इंडियन एंड विल इंस्पायर जेनरेशन टू कम आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू and i want to thank you also for each and everyone who prayed with us in the last many days uh, who wanted this uh, success to happen in isro i thank all those people in all around the country and maybe beyond the country for their blessings and wishes and and affection that he has given to each one of us for doing this work for the last so many years the mood here in india is unmatched there are celebrations there are parties fireworks how did india achieve a feat that no country could through teamwork teamwork team effort and through a change in the approach like i mentioned several indian companies have worked on this mission under the guidance of isro and it has all been done at optimum cost Chandrayaan-3 costs lesser than Chandrayaan-2 and Chandrayaan-2 costs lesser than Hollywood space movie Interstellar. I was telling you about the change in approach as well. Do you know back in the 1960s and 70s, America's Apollo mission reached the moon in a matter of days? And ISRO did not feel the need to hurry up. It used a less powerful rocket and let Chandrayaan-3 orbit the Earth several times to gain the speed for its month-long journey to the moon. Chandrayaan-3's rover will now be leaving India's mark on the moon as it probes the South Pole. I don't know if you know this, but the wheels of Chandrayaan-3's rover, Pragyan, have the Indian national flag and ISRO's logo imprinted on them. enabling india to leave its mark as it probes the lunar south pole so the immediate question is what happens now what's next one research and scientific exploration chandrayaan 3 will be carrying out experiments to check habitability of exoplanets it will be detecting and studying lunar quakes not just that it will also be studying the lunar soil very important also important exploring if there is water ice on the moon in fact uh, as the landing on the south pole would actually allow india to explore if uh, there is water ice on the moon and this is very important for cumulative data and science on the geology of the moon and actually having more information about the exploration and uh, of the solar system history and evolution And the thing is if ice exists in sufficient quantities then it could change the game of space exploration it could be a source of drinking water the water could also be broken down to produce hydrogen for fuel and oxygen to breathe and this is not just for the moon missions the moon could then become a stop over for the missions to mars the moon south pole is believed to have the key to unlocking this future and now india is on that very lunar south pole it is the only country and this feat will without doubt be a big boost to india's space economy it is expected to be worth 
13 billion US dollars by 2025. And Arthur D. Little report saying India's space economy has the potential to touch 100 billion US dollars by 2040. India's current share in the global space economy stands at 2%. The government targets a 9% by the year 2030. Chandrayaan-3 will be the vehicle that helps India reach this very target. You know, it will attract investment into India's space sector, boost the government's plans to promote private space launches and satellite businesses. India wants its private space companies to increase their share of the global launch market by five-fold within the next decade. And Chandrayaan-3 will be catalytic to this plan. By encouraging more and more players to essentially become a part of India's space journey, the success of Chandrayaan-3 will also be a big boost to ISRO as it prepares for Gaganyaan, its first human space flight. Chandrayaan-3 left for the moon on the 14th of July. And everything since has been a countdown to this very point that we witnessed today. The journey of Chandrayaan-3, along with that of India's first two moon missions, have been metaphorical to India's journey as a space power. The journey of a country that proudly marries religious devotion with science. A country that believes in its enormous potential, in its people, its scientists, its leaders. A country of Vikram Sarabhai, APJ Abdul Kalam, Venkar Raman Radhakrishnan, Dr. K. Sivan, and S. Somnath. India's journey to space began with cycles and bullock carts, the search for magnetic equator, with a church being turned into a launch station. There were failures, there were also learnings and many successes. And here we are, decades later, India is on the moon, the south pole of the moon, where no country, and I repeat once again, no country has been able to land. Chandrayaan-3 is the face of India's space economy. It is the face of unstoppable India, and India's message to the world. You see, this is India telling the world that the moon is just the beginning. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.